Hello everybody and welcome back to Ant Holfer. Today we are once again taking a look at the latest night year experiment. This is now episode number three. Before we start the video, I want to address something. What is a cocoon and what is a pupae? Because I feel like a cocoon is the round thing and a pupae is when you can see the kind of ant inside. But I feel like people are saying different things. But yeah, welcome back to Ant Holfer and welcome back to the latest night year experiment number three. So the first colony we'll be checking out today is 1A and as you can see she has a lot of eggs and I mean really a lot of eggs. Though currently she do not have any workers but she does have a few pupae. But as you can see she has some larvae and she has some pupae and a lot of eggs. So there isn't really anything to say. She is a normal Lacius Niger and hopefully she'll have a few workers soon. Colony. 1 B. As you can see, it isn't going nearly as good for 1 B. I don't know what has happened to the eggs. I'm guessing that this is the eggs and they have just rotten and died. And taking a look at the queen, she has one egg remaining under her. So I don't know if it's just because she's been an infertile queen. They've all been laying right next to each other, so it should be exactly the same result. Uh, the same vibrations when there have been vibrations, so I don't really know what to say. She isn't doing as good, and this is just why you need to get multiple queens, because you can never be sure what happens with them. Colony 2A. So Colony 2A is the first part of the experiment that has kind of failed, since I've kind of taken them out of the equation. They had some moldy stuff, and, and I asked on Instagram what I should do, and enough people said I should try to move them, so I ended up trying to move them. And the result was very bad since they ended up moving, but not the eggs. So after a day or two I felt like, okay, I can try to kind of push the eggs in, and I failed, and the colony was just totally restarted. I don't know what they have done with all of their eggs, they're just all over the place. As you can see in the clips, it's completely crazy. Oh boy! Colony 2B. Yeah, this didn't turn out as bad as I thought yet. So in my last video I did say something wrong. In the initial Lacius Niger experiment episode number 1, the, the colony that fought was actually 2A and not 2B. And this is 2B that was kind of separated from each other all the time. The queens kept, kept walking on either side of the test tube. And as you can see, this is still a thing. I don't know why, they just don't like being close to each other. But we have our first Nanitics, and that is the first workers that emerge. Um, and I decided, you know, I'm gonna give them a dead grasshopper insect thing with a little bit of hunting and see how they reacted. It's just so crazy how many pupae there are. And a few Nanitics, I think there's a five workers at the time of recording. And I did mess up a little bit here, because I gave the food on a bit of tin file and I pointed it upwards so the ants actually couldn't enter the tin file. And right before I decided that I would take it out, the queen suddenly walked over to it. The same queen that had been over by the cotton ball before, she now decided to, you know, I'm gonna see what this weird thing is. And of course, after 10 minutes, she finally decided to give up, she couldn't come on top of it, and I took it out and made it better so they could now jump on and look at this the queen is on top there's there isn't any workers yet it's just the queen and i don't know i've never heard of this before that the queen would be more i don't know excited than the workers but i'm guessing that it may be a side effect of the experiment that since there's two queens she might feel that she has to go or something since she's out exploring i don't quite know and it will be interesting to see this in the future but suddenly the second queen also decided to join. Though after she had inspected it a little bit, she decided that it wasn't her place and went back again. So 2B is really going amazing. As you can see the queen is just sieving up all the hunting she can get and after a few minutes the workers finally decided to join her. I just can't get over how many pupae there is. This colony will explode so soon, and once again, 
no dead queens. Colony 3A. So over at Colony 3A we immediately see a worker that is walking around and we also see some leftover tubing. So this colony actually also tried to move but I gave up since they just didn't want to move and they're still living in the kind of bad environment as you can see. I'm planning on moving them when the colony starts to grow a little bit so I can move them into a clean test tube but I'm waiting until the workers kind of have emerged so they can push the queens rather than the queen has to push each other because I can imagine a fight occurring if they have to push each other but as you can see we have workers or one worker and we have pupae and we have some eggs so I decided you know I'm gonna give them the same breakfast that the other colony got I don't know why it's breakfast it's just breakfast okay but what I did forget is that there's only one worker here so I should maybe have waited a few days and once again two of the free greens was already over and eating the sugar a few minutes after I put it in and again I don't know if it's because they fight or something that they are low on energy I don't quite know but colony 3a all three queens are still alive and one worker has emerged and a few workers are on the way and lastly we have 3b and as you can see no workers no uh, nothing this one queen here is drinking some water but as you can see it is a bit yellowish on the cotton so that's probably some ant blood as far as i can see there isn't really eggs any eggs there might be a few under one of the queens but i'm not too sure but there isn't any workers and there isn't any cocoons so this colony have also had a kind of a restart though i don't know why but probably some fighting or something so yeah guys incredible to see the difference between the colonies i feel like but I think it's really amazing to see the big difference between 1A and 1B. Those would just be a normal laceous niger colony and that really ensures you as a viewer why you should always get multiple queens even though you're only gonna keep one colony. When all of this is done, hopefully there will only be one big colony. I'll keep that and the other th how many that will be I'll release again or sell. But it's just, it's just proving a point that you should always get more than one colony. I mean normally you say get five queens because you never know if one of them is infertile and you can just see here between 1A and 1B such a big difference. But yeah guys, what do you think of this experiment so far? I feel like it's going a lot different than I expected both because there's such a big difference but also because these clips are now one week old from the time of recording this and all queens are still alive. That's been it for this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you in another video.